In the U.S., we use water like it's going out of style. Our rates of consumption, on average, are about 100 gallons per day. And this is the highest on the planet. In some parts of the world, they get by on less than three. Today I'm at South Face Energy Institute in Midtown Atlanta to take a look at a cool system they have for reusing water in the home. There are lots of ways we can conserve water in the home, and several of those opportunities are right here in the bathroom. The one I'd like to talk about today involves making a connection from here to here. Okay, so it's not quite that simple but it's referred to as gray water reuse. To use gray water to flush toilets, we'll need to go through four simple steps. Collection, filtration, disinfection, and then redistribution. And to see the system that makes that work, we'll need to go downstairs. But first, let's meet our guide. Hi, I'm Chris Teal. I'm the facilities manager at South Face Energy Institute. Uh, that's a fancy way of saying building and grounds. Uh, keep the place running, uh, fix things when they break, and try and make continual improvements as well, always pushing the envelope uh, towards better efficiency and conserving of water, resources, energy, uh, healthy work environment, etc. We have shower water coming in from the drain that's one story up above us. It's very easy to retrofit because we could get underneath of the floor and cut into that drain pipe. So it comes down through here, it's filtered through a little strainer, just something to get out the hair and the worst of the soap scum. It fills up with the gray water. There's a, a tablet you drop down in there, basically just bleach. Uh, same thing you'd put in a Clorox tablet for your toilet bowl. And so that's slowly dissolving, keeping everything sanitary so it doesn't ferment or get too smelly. And then there's a pump inside of here that's automatically going to turn on and off when you flush the toilet up above. Here's the uh, discharge line for the gray water after it's been filtered and sanitized. So the pump will send this back up to the toilet and we can flush the toilet without having to use fresh potable drinking water to do that. We're recycling it and then sending that water to the sewer. Flushing toilets represents 25% of a home's water use. So it is a great opportunity to save water and money. A gray water reuse system is a more expensive solution. An under sink unit like this model from Sloan will cost around $500. The 39 gallon BRAC system at South Face is also consumer sized and runs about $2,000. And here's another green factor. They've plumbed the system to allow for rainwater captured from the roof to be added to the tank. Flushing with gray. That's just another easy way to be green. As always, our challenge to you, put your green on one leg at a time. To learn more about being green in the city, check out the Midtown Eco District. Powered by Midtown Alliance at midtownatl.com.